I should have done my foundation first. Whatever. All right, hello, hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and thumbs this video up, even though I didn't do anything yet. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button right I, I, for some reason, can't remember which side. You can see that it's been a while since I've done a video. Today, I am just going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me, and kind of like talking about what's been going on with me, everything like that, why I haven't really been posting videos. Don't want to take too long because I need to go um, to Joe's house and finish his hair. Let me just get all my stuff together. So basically, it's a really gloomy and sad day outside today. It was raining earlier. Like, I'm not here for it. I hate the rain. I hate when it's, like, not sunny outside because for some reason that really affects my mood. And in all honesty, um, I'm pretty sure I have seasonal depression because, like, every year around this time, I always get into this, like, mood. Like, I hate the holiday season. I hate, like... Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day, like that whole, it's just like, for some reason, I'm just like always sad during that season. And it used to be because I was, like when I was in high school, I was single through most of it. And um, I actually can't tell you guys a story about my whole high school experience as far as like my dating life and everything. Um... But yeah, in high school, I was always single, and all of my friends, well, I had, like, two best friends, so it was the three of us, and both of them were in really serious, like, long-term relationships, so whenever this time of the year would come up, I would just be, like, so lonely, because, like, my two, my two friends were always, you know, with their guy, you know, you know, when you're in high school, you think it's, like, the most important thing ever, like, you think you're going to be single forever, um, oh, by the way, I was using my uh, Fenty primer. You got, you know I know already. But, um, yeah, so, you think it's the end of the world. You think you're going to be single forever. And that's kind of, like, where I was at, you know? I was kind of, like, wondering why, why I was single and, like, why nobody wanted to be with me or, like, why the dude that I was dealing with pretty much throughout the entirety of high school was treating me the way that he was and, like, you know, pretty much being number two to everyone. And so the holiday season kind of just like pushes that to the forefront just because you know holidays are about like family and things like that but when you're in high school you don't think of it like that that's not how you're saying it you just want a relationship and you want to do cute things with your boo and I didn't have one so it, I think it started there um and then even after that uh even after high school pretty much every year something happened during the holiday season that was like upsetting so now it's kind of just like I have this I don't know it's not really a fear of the holiday season but it's like I just I just feel like something bad is always gonna happen during this time of the year all like holidays and my birthday and everything they just I just have so much stuff that goes wrong or like does some type of emotional trauma happen to me um, around the holiday season and, like, my birthday and stuff, so, I guess, like, because of that, I never really took into account that I might have seasonal depression on top of all of that, just because all of that was always going on, so I always just contributed it to that, but, um, recently, I got a counselor, probably, um, and this is not sponsored, I got a counselor through BetterHelp, um, just because I don't really have time to go to a sit-down counselor and it was around my birthday it was the weekend after my birthday this year that I decided to get a counselor because I had this year was has been really rough for me and that's kind of another thing I want to touch on like this year has been really rough for me as far as like my mental health and everything because there's so much stuff that has happened and I can't really get into all of it because some of the stuff isn't um like for me to tell and honestly I'm not gonna put all of my business out there on the internet but this year I definitely developed anxiety if I didn't have it already I'm pretty sure I started seeing symptoms of anxiety in myself 
um, when I was in college. So when did I graduate? I graduated last year. So probably like last year, maybe a year and a half ago. But it definitely got pushed over the edge this year. We're starting in January. I actually started Christmas last year. And I'm not really going to get into it, but anytime anything is going on with anyone's family, I just think in general, you know, that's going to affect them. Because everybody wants to have a happy family. You know? Whether even y'all that act like y'all don't want a happy family, yes you do. That's why y'all out here acting angry at the world, because you're mad about it and that's okay like you should want a happy family that's a normal thing um back in the beginning of the year i got in a car accident my first car accident um like that was also in january you know then i had like this girl harassing me that's another story like this girl uh my boyfriend's one of my boyfriend's ex-friends he's like super crazy and i honestly think that he had a crush on my boyfriend to be completely honest with you like he just always acted like he had a problem with me <laughs> and just hated it. Like, he was just, uh, oh my gosh, I'll just say that for another another video, but um, basically he was, like, super crazy, and he finally got a girlfriend after my boyfriend stopped being friends with him, um, and they tried to, like, approach my boyfriend on some, some stuff, and he wasn't with it, so as soon as they left, well, yeah, as soon as they left his house, his girlfriend basically started harassing me. And, uh, like I said, they're, they're both crazy. Okay. They're both crazy. They're both on drugs. I think they both do like cocaine and like, like they do like serious, like serious drugs or whatever. So yeah. So she started harassing me, trying to like insinuate things or whatever that weren't true. But of course it really triggered my anxiety just because I've been cheated on before. So, you know, I don't want anything, of course I don't want that to happen again, like who wants to get cheated on again, you know what I'm saying? But it's like she didn't have any receipts or anything and then her motive was like so clear with her and her boyfriend trying to break me and my boyfriend up because he was upset about us being together this whole time, like I just know it, I just know it, like, and I tried to tell my boyfriend that, I, would, I always would be like, hey, uh, I don't think he likes me, I think he has a problem with us being together, like. I think he likes you. And of course my boyfriend's like, no, I don't think so. You're doing too much. Da da da. Uh no, I wasn't. I was correct. That's exactly what the fuck was going on. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that happened and then well that happened twice. She showed popped up the first time. The second time she was like really just harassing me, to be completely honest. Should I use my Fenty or Born This Way? So I'll be taking my Born This Way foundation in Spiced Rum. Thank you, Jackie Ina. Of course, it's not going to focus, but it's Spiced Rum. Just believe me, okay? <laughs> she popped up in January. So that same week I got in a car accident. My Okay, so basically from Christmas to the first week, the first, yeah, the first week of the year. So those two weeks were the worst. I found out some crazy stuff about my family, financial issues started going on, I got in a car accident, and that was the first time that that girl popped up. So within those two weeks, I was just done. I was, it was a wrap for me, you know, but I still tried to stay positive, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always felt like uh, this year was going to be an important year for me. And I think it was, because I realized I have to pay attention to my mental freaking health. <laughs> You know, I always try to put everybody else's issues above mine. Like, I'm the nurturer. So, it's like I, I'm always trying to take care of other people and make sure everybody else is okay, but at the expense of myself. So, definitely learned that this year. But anyway, so she popped up the first time in January. Then she popped up again in April. And at that point in April, I already knew that she was fraudulent. She was a fraud. And she just had ulterior motives to break up me and my boyfriend. And I just think it's crazy that there's actually people out there that really take their time to do stuff like that. Like, worry about your own relationship. Worry about the fact that you and your man needs to go to rehab. Like, why are you, why are you doing this? And in all honesty, it might not even have been the girl. It could have been him from her phone or from her social media. Because the first time she hit me up, it was from her Twitter page. She DM'd me. 
And then as soon as I figured out who she was and I brought up his name, she blocked me. So, hmm, why would you do that? Because I just figured your story out, right? And she lied on her. You know what? I'm going to make that a whole story time. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all what happened in another story time. But just know, girls out here are crazy. And this is why I don't have any female friends. Well, I have one. I just can't deal with it. Like, it's just so much drama. I just really can't. And so then, after that, there was um, this whole thing with my boyfriend's friend. And I can't really get into that. But that kind of triggered me as well. You know, I kind of feel a way about him. Because, I don't know, I just don't think he's trustworthy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am looking out for the best interest of my man and myself. And at the end of the day, we don't need no people around that's going to be taking us down, bro. Like, we're trying to elevate. And if you're not trying to do that, you need to leave. You need to bye-bye, peace. Like, it's a wrap for you, like, to be honest. Like, after you show yourself enough times, it's done. Like, I don't, I don't, I used to be the type of person that doesn't give second chances. Like, as soon as I see you mess up or do some stuff that I feel like is shady, it's done. Like, I'm not your friend anymore. We're not cool anymore. It's a wrap. You can go do that with other people. But then I realized, okay, people make mistakes. So let me go ahead and give them second chances. Started doing that. And it's like, people don't, I don't think people make mistakes. You know, some stuff, if it's like a little thing, then yeah, maybe. But stuff like lying, you know, about big stuff, big things, stealing Stuff like that, like, no, bro, like, th that's not, that's not a mistake. You knew what you were doing. You did that on purpose. Like, you're looking out for yourself, and that's the type of person that like, you're showing me who you are. I'm not about to sit up here and play myself. Like, I'm just not doing that. So, that's a, where, that's where I'm at in life. I don't have time. Like, I already don't have any friends. I don't need any more at this point. I'm 23 years old. Like, it would be nice, but I'm good with my one friend, my sister, and my man. Like, I'm good. I'm good. That's all I need because once you start getting too many friends, you got to keep track of people. And I don't I don't have time to be doing that. I really just don't. Like I got so much other stuff going on. You know. But I'm rambling now. All right, so I'm going to keep it in the family. I'm going to take my born this way uh concealer and toffee. Again, it's not going to focus, but whatever. Just trust me. It's toffee. I'm only going to take a little bit though. So yeah, with all of that stuff going on, it pretty much just like threw me into total, complete anxiety. 100% of the time, I'm stressed, was stressed 100% of the time, anxious 100% of the time. And then it just got to the point where I wasn't even anxious anymore. And you know how, the to me, the difference between anxiety and depression is when your thoughts go from what if to it is. So... Being anxious, you're always thinking about, oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? And worrying about stuff that might happen. When you're depressed, you basically convince yourself that that's what it is. So, what's an example? For example, with my hair company. Okay. I've been, I've had this company for about two years now. Almost two years. And when I tell you it's really hard to start a business, it's really hard. Like, just trying to get your name out there. I didn't even wet this whatever I'm not getting up <laughs> like just try to get your name out there and stuff and get people to trust your brand people that don't even know you to trust your brand and trust that you're not trying to scam them you know because there's so many like scammers out there it's so much money like hair is expensive you don't want to end up buying something and the product isn't even good like I under I understand where people are coming from and why you know I'm having such a hard time but it's like I don't know what else to do to <laughs> try to convince people that I am who I say I am. And I'm not trying to finesse you. Like, my bundles are bomb, bruh. Like, I'm not even saying that just because it's my hair company or, like, I'm trying to convince anybody. Like, my bundles are actually bomb. And it's like, I always see so many people out here just walking around with some half, half-ass bundles. And my stuff it's like it's not that bro like i'm trying to it's an investment like i'm trying to help y'all but i don't know what else to do to convince people of that so it's like that i was getting really frustrated with that and it's like it's so much money that i'm putting into this you know i still only have a part-time job besides for that i still live with my parents you know i'm about to be 24 next year and i'm still living with my parents like i don't want to be here it's just this environment alone kind of triggers my anxiety just because of the family issues that we have going on right now. 
So just seeing all this stuff go on around me, I don't want to be here. I want my own space. And I just feel like I, like I can't even record and stuff here. The only time I can really record is if I'm here by myself. So, and that's not often. So that's another reason why I haven't been posting a lot because I can't, I don't have any uh, time to post. And whenever I'm here, when my parents are here and they always like to interrupt or like walk in or, and I know my mom would like disapprove of putting all this stuff on the internet. You know what I mean? So it's like just dealing with that type of stuff. I, I just can't, I don't, I can't. So, and that's also why I try to record in my car too. Like I got a whole, um, phone holder and everything for my car. My eyebrows look crazy. I guess I'll clean them. I got a whole phone holder for my car because, um, because I was going to try to record in my car since I can't really record here, but I can't do makeup in my car. So all of my videos in the car are going to be talking videos. <clears throat> But honestly, like, I've been, I haven't even been in the mood to do makeup. And that's how I know that there's something wrong because I love makeup so much. Like, just doing it makes me happy. But today, I wasn't even going to sit down and do this. Like, I really wasn't. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with me. Just kind of a lot. Um, I was doing pretty good, like, as far as. My anxiety, I feel like I'm doing pretty good since I've gotten the counselor and I kind of want to get rid of the counselor now just because it's money that I have to pay to talk to her. Um, and I kind of need the money for other things now, right now. I'm going to look like I need lashes with all of this going on. And I know I did tell y'all recently that I was going to start posting more and that week I posted like three videos in the week. And then after that, I just fell off the face of the earth. That's pretty much why. Uh, just because I haven't been having the motivation to get up in front of the camera and do anything. But I'm trying. I'm trying. Like, this is the only way I can get myself out of the situation I'm in is to do this. June's gonna be like, where the heck is she? He's going to be like, you always take forever. Why do you always show up so late? <laughs> I'm busy. You told me to record. So I am. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, speaking of Joe, uh, in a, on a brighter note, I guess. Um, I'm really excited because I, for his birthday next year, I'm trying to, well, I was trying to surprise him, but it's not a surprise anymore. I'm going to take him to LA for his birthday. I've never been to LA before. And, um, but he has, and he's been talking about wanting to go back since we've been in a relationship. So... And he always has such terrible birthdays, like, for some reason. His birthdays are always so bad, and I just feel so bad because I love birthdays. I feel like your birthday is the holiday for you. It's a celebration of, oh, Jesus. Mm. Getting in the fine lines already now. Come on. Come on, Too Face Foundation. Don't do this to me. But yeah, I just feel like your birthday is a celebration of your birth. Like, this is the day that you touch the earth you touch down you are gracing the earth with your presence and we got to celebrate the anniversary of that day every year bro it's a whole thing it's a big deal you were born on this day you know what i'm saying <laughs> so yeah so this year i want to be able to give him a good birthday because he's gotten to the point now where he doesn't even care about birthdays he's convinced himself he don't care and yes you do because if you didn't care you would not get upset every year when your birthday goes to shit. You just wouldn't care. But you do because you get upset. You don't got to lie to me, babe. <laughs> I see you. Okay. Try and put that facade on and that front on. We're going to get it together and I got you. All right. I'm just going to take this big, big brush and kind of buff all of this out a little bit. But yeah, I'm excited to be able to do that for him.
Which brings me to another point. The other day, he offered to buy me some bundles. And I really appreciate it. Like, he is so sweet, you know? He is very sweet. And I really appreciate the thoughts and him wanting to do that for me. But I, for some reason, just cannot. Like, I have a hard time accepting gifts, okay? The more expensive it is, the more guilty I feel. And it's like I'm always doing for him, you know what I mean? I'm always getting him something. And it's like, he wants to do that for me, but I just don't let him. And so the other day when he offered to buy me bundles, I realized how much I told him no. And at that point, I realized it because it seemed like he was starting to get upset. <laughs> so I had to take a step back and think about it. And I was like, Jay, you really never let this man buy you anything. I never let him buy me anything but food and a movie ticket. Like, it's crazy. So... We um talked about that, and I was like, uh, Joe, do I never let you buy me anything? Do I? And he said, no, you don't. And he sounded frustrated when he said that. So I'm just like, okay, well, you can go ahead and do it, but I don't know. Like, I just always feel guilty. I always feel guilty. I just can't accept gifts. And I was looking it up the other day, like, why people don't accept gifts like why some people have a hard time accepting gifts and one thing that I read that I think is my reason is because I'm a nurturer and so people that are naturally nurturers and they're naturally taking care of other people all the time they find it there he goes <laughs> he just texted me when am I coming <laughs> ah, I'm almost done babe let me text him back all right, so how to let him know? <laughs> I'm on the way. Okay, it's just wash your hair. In other news, um, Naja, I don't know if y'all know the Voodoo Child, but Naja did a hair review for me. I sent her some hair. I love her channel. It's just so I don't know. I just I don't know. I just love her channel. <laughs> I don't even have a reason. She's just really a cool person. And working with her as far as the hair and stuff, it was really easy, a nice breeze, you know what I'm saying? She was very easy to talk to, um, very good with communication. Uh, she's just a really down-to-earth person, really chill, and I really appreciate that. So, yeah, make sure y'all go check out her channel. Check out the her, uh, I'll link the video of hers with my hair review in it. So y'all can see but yeah definitely check out her channel she's she just hit like 100k 101k i think so she's doing really good i'm basically done y'all i don't got nothing else to say i don't got nothing else to talk about so i'm gonna be taking my urban decay perversion see that that'll focus you can see that <laughs> I'm taking my Urban Decay um, Perversion Mascara. I'm thinking about getting my eyelashes done, y'all. Who got their eyelashes done before? Leave a comment in the comment section. And if you live in the DMV area, and you get your lashes done, or you do lashes, drop your info below. Okay? Drop that info below. Just in case I decide to go ahead and get them done. I am scared. Because I don't want to go blind, y'all. It's somebody working so close to my eye. And half of y'all not even really professional or certified. Like, y'all just learned. Or like your friend taught you. Or you watched videos on how to do it. And then got yourself a kit and started doing it. Not saying that everybody that does things that way doesn't know what they're doing. But some people don't so i just gotta be careful all right let's glow this let's glow this bad boy up let's glow it up y'all already know which highlighter i'm about to take y'all want to guess y'all want to guess tourmaline 
I remember like two weeks ago, but me and Joe we went we went out, and I don't I don't really do my makeup that much when I go over there. I just come bare face, but I decided to dress up for our little date and do my makeup and stuff. You know, I did my makeup in his house, and when I came downstairs, the look on his face when he saw me was so priceless. It was so cute. It was just like, you look so beautiful. Like, he hadn't seen me in makeup in so long. Like, he always tells me I'm beautiful, but <laughs> I really beat my face that day. And he was just like, whoa. <laughs> you look so beautiful. That really touched me. That was so sweet. If I get over to that house and his hair isn't even washed, he gonna have to square up. He gonna have to square up because he just gonna have to. Oh, I'm using uh, my uh, Urban Decay All Lighter Prote Pollution Protection one. I this is supposed to prevent your um, foundation from oxidizing. I don't think it does. I think it's just like the other one. To be completely honest. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me get out of here before Joe has a conniption. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and put my lip gloss on first while I do my little outro. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm going to bring my this bag. Y'all, make sure y'all take y'all vitamins. Take y'all vitamins. This is vitamin D3. And it's supposed to help you with your mood. I guess probably seasonal depression. Because the lack of sunlight really affects me. And that's another reason why I think I have seasonal depression. Because whenever it's cloudy outside, mood automatically done. Just like today. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you thumbs this video up. It really helps me out. Um... And don't forget to hit the subscribe button that's down below in the corner. Um, yeah, my hair is still, the sale's not going on right now, but um, I might do something for Black Friday. So make sure you guys stay on the lookout for that. Um, and yeah, again, thanks guys for watching. Oh, yeah, make sure you follow me on all my social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. All that's going to be on the next screen and down below in the description for your convenience. Um, I have a giveaway flyer. For my hair company on my social media so if you're not following me of course you're not going to see it so make sure you guys go check that out um and yeah thanks guys for watching i'll see you in my next video